Warren Buffett If you are a new grandparent, keen to help fund your grandchild slash friend's future higher education, please proceed with caution when it comes to choosing the actual investments. I was out with a friend for dinner a few weeks ago and she was telling me how, 20 years earlier, her in-laws had kindly set aside zero for each grandchild's post-secondary education. Wow I said, is that ever a great gift for the grandkids? She went on to tell me that for the eldest grandchild in the family, that initial zero was now worth zero zero zero. Well, I cried. How that can be? I punched in a few numbers, then looked at my friend. Guess what that zero should be worth today if 20 years ago they had put the money into safe investments that yielded an average of 5% return per year, compounded monthly. No, I said. You don't. But I'm going to tell you anyway. 7,000. Versus 000. When it comes to helping pay for a university education, 9,000 is a significant difference. Back home again, I did a few more calculations. I didn't have the heart to push the matter any further with my friend to see what a slightly higher average annual return would have meant. And 20 years ago if her in-laws had put that initial zero in investments that yielded. 6% average annual return, compounded monthly, today that would be worth, 3,000. 7% average annual return, compounded monthly, today that would be worth, 0. So the moral of the story is, if you are in a position, where you can put aside some funds, to help with your grandkids education, wonderful. But when it comes to choosing the actual investments, proceed with prudence. For your decisions today could make a huge difference in a child's life 20 years from now.